slower. Just take a picture. It's okay. It's a movie. It's good. Let me know when you start this. Sounds like they're marching. Good as last year. promise today must be renewed and redefined tomorrow. At the end of this ceremony, you're legally going to be man and wife. I'm going to cry. <laughs> you got but this. you still must decide each day that stretches out before you that you want to be married. Real love is something beyond the warm and the glow, the excitement and the romance of being deeply in love. Is caring as much about the welfare and the happiness of your marriage partner as about your own. But real love is not total absorption in each other. It is looking outward in the same direction together. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger so you can reach out and become involved with life in ways that you dare not risk alone. Marriage is a public and legal union of two souls who have found one another, who love one another, and who are already united and joined as one in their hearts. Marriage can always have challenges, so you will need all of your strength, your courage, your patience, and a real good sense of humor is going to help. <laughs> but when you love someone, you will be loyal to them. You will always believe in them, you will see the best in them, and always stand your ground to defend them. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 7, that is the love chapter in the Bible, it says, Love is always patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. Love is never rude or selfish. Love does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's faults but delights in the truth. Love is always ready to excuse, to trust, and to hope. Love is always ready to endure whatever comes. True love does not come to an end. So just let your marriage be a time of waking up each morning and falling in love all over again and again. Your marriage begins with the vows and the promise you speak today to one another. The marriage vow is a promise of fidelity and honesty. Are you ready to speak your vows before man and God? Hand closed. Okay. Kendra, do you have something you would like to say to Timothy at this time? Yes. On this day, we become one. Our lives are no longer yours or mine. It becomes ours. As we can join hands here today, we begin a journey together. I promise on this journey to pick you up when you stumble on bumpy roads, to stitch and heal all the wounds you acquire along the way, to support your right decisions. Wait. To support whether you're right or wrong, 
to cherish and to protect your heart, mind, and soul. Most importantly, to love you with all I got to give, and to remind you and show you for the rest of our days, and in the land of heaven, through the tough times and the good. I love you. Timothy, do you have something you would like to say to Kendra? Well, I didn't get a chance to get her right. <laughs> Louder. I didn't get her right, so I get some wings. I love you with all my heart. You're my everything. You're my soul. You brighten up my world. I don't know what I can do without you. Best thing that ever happened to me. I know we had some faults. We overcame everything. That we could do it every time. Can somebody get him a napkin, please? <laughs> <laughs> All that I am, share all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, and in sickness and in health, for all of our days, for all of our days. Kendra, repeat after me. I Kendra, I Kendra, take you Timothy, take you Timothy, to be my husband, to be my husband, to share all that I am, to share all that I am, all that I have, all that I have, for better or worse, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for richer or poorer, in sickness or in health, in sickness or in health, and for all the days of our lives together, for all the days of our life. Do you have rings? The wedding ring is a symbol of married love. It's the precious metal that symbolizes that it is your love, it's your most precious possession in an unending circle that your love will never end. Timothy, take her hand and repeat after me as you put the ring on. I give you this ring, you this ring. As, a, as a symbol of my love. Please wear it as a sign to the world that you are my wife with this ring I thee wed Kendra you have a ring? take it this hand repeat after me I give you this ring I give you this ring as a symbol of my love as a symbol of my love please wear it as a sign please wear it as a sign to the world that you are my husband to the world with this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. Okay. Kendra and Timothy have um, decided they would like to have a rose ceremony because rose symbolizes love, and a single rose always means one thing. It means I love you. So it's appropriate that their first gift to each other as husband and wife, Timmy and Kendra would like to exchange a rose now. Okay, exchange it. Okay. May you... They are both given each other in receiving the most valuable and precious gift of love. One I hope you will always remember. The gift of true and abiding love with the devotion of marriage. May you love deeply, laugh heartily, dream together, and smile often. May you each see many sunrises, listen to the rain, savor special moments and discover each other over and over. May you have health, happiness, and a lifetime of rich experiences. In the presence of family and friends, <laughs> and by the power invested in me, and by God in the state of Florida, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.
Okay, we're not done yet. Okay, okay at this point, the bride wanted to make an announcement. Yes, I want to say thank you to Meme and Pepe for helping us make all this come true. If it wasn't for them, we'd probably end up in a courthouse watching just ourselves get married. I would like to thank also everybody who brought food to help pitch in and for everyone showing up. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Alright. Face me. Okay. <laughs> we're almost done, folks. Okay. Um, we're going to pray for this couple as they begin their married life. I would ask that everybody bow your head. Heavenly Father, Creator, Redeemer, Lover of our souls, we now turn to you as the first act of this couple in their newly formed reunion. We ask that you bless and protect them. May they always turn to you for guidance and for strength, for provision and for direction. May you be in the middle of their lives, binding them together as a three-chord rope which cannot be broken. What God has joined together here today, let no one put asunder. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Valley. Turn around. Is they going right back up that aisle? Yeah. Imaginary honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dum dum da 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 Stop. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, okay Kendra. Are you ready? Uh, oh, I got to unbuckle my baby. Get to the table to help me sit down. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> 